Have you ever heard of the Disney Mirror Ritual? Well, don't be fooled by its name or its location at the happiest place on Earth. It's a fairly dangerous ritual with a high chance of getting caught. The, granted, the payoff is fairly high. It's not known why or how this ritual came to be at Disney World. It's said that each of the Disney parks has its own unique ritual, with the same consequences for failure. But the one at Disney World seems to have the most known information. Now this is a mirror ritual. Mirror mythology is well invoked in Disney stories. Think Beauty and the Beast, Snow White, One Hour in Wonderland and such. I'm sure that you might think such a ritual would take place at the Haunted Mansion or the, the spookier rides, but you're wrong. See, the main part of this ritual takes place at the Cinderella Castle, roughly the epicenter of the Magic Kingdom. The night part of the ritual must take place between 2 and 4 a.m. To complete this ritual, you'll need three items. One, a piece of chalk. Two, a knife that's had its handle broken off. In other words, just simply the blade. The type of knife doesn't matter, but as you will have to sneak this past security, you might want a smaller blade that you can conceal in your shoe or some other hiding place. Three, a broken shard of mirror roughly the size of your palm. You might want to find a pre-broken shard if you believe in the superstition of seven years of bad luck. The ritual begins during the daytime hours of the Magic Kingdom section of Disney World. During the day, you must hide three items in separate areas of the park. The areas to choose from are Main Street USA, Liberty Square, Fantasyland, Adventureland, Frontierland, and Tomorrowland. Study the map of the park and decide what routes would be easiest to travel undetected. Don't pick distances that you can't manage. Keep in mind that the area around Cinderella Castle will be the most heavily patrolled by the security. While there are security cameras in the park, don't worry about them. Something about the ritual makes them seem to malfunction. And before hiding the items, head to the tunnel going through Cinderella Castle. And be careful. There are some Disney staff that are aware of the ritual and know to keep an eye out for those attempting it. Hide the chalk in your hand. Pick out a brick that you're able to reach at face level and when you're absolutely sure no one is watching you. Critical tip. You may want a friend to make a distraction or ask any immediate staff questions to get their attention. Now mark the corner of that brick with a chalk. Say the word, mirror, mirror, and then leave. This will tell the park that you intend to play. You'll use this brick during the ritual. Then find hiding places for the items. At this point, you have completed the daytime part of the ritual. Use the remainder of the time as you will until the park closes, but make sure that you find a place that you can remain hidden once the park closes for the night. It's not easy, but it has been done. If you decide not to go through with the ritual, retrieve the items, erase the chalk mark, and leave the park. You can only cancel the ritual during the daytime hours. Do not attempt the ritual again, ever. Do not emerge from your hiding place right after the park closes. It will be full of maintenance workers and patrol security. Wait until at least an hour after the park closes, but remember you need to be done before 4 a.m. The security presence will be smaller at that hour, but by no means gone. Watch for the roving security guards as you make your way to your items. Retrieve the mirror shard last, or you'll trigger the more dangerous parts of the ritual early. If you reach any of your hiding places and the items are gone, run. The park doesn't accept your challenge. You need to reach the entrance and get out, or even get yourself busted by security, which will be a much preferable fate. Once you retrieve the mirror shard, you'll begin the second, more dangerous phase of the ritual. Security patrols are no longer your concern, they will have mysteriously disappeared or gone dark. You may see a flashlight beam way off in the distance, but they'll not come any closer to you. Some chalk this up as magic. Others theorize that completing the steps until this point triggers a parallel dimension or some sort within the park. Regardless of the cause, you have a new concern. Make haste and head towards Cinderella Castle. Once again, try to stay out of sight. Use the mirror shard to look around corners and behind you, and keep the broken blade in your dominant hand. You are on the lookout for figures that have been dubbed the False. The False take the form of Disney mascots you might see during the daytime. Don't be fooled. The paid Disney mascots went home hours ago. Not exactly hard to tell the difference. Suits worn by the figures will appear filthy, matted, generally tattered. You would most likely find them lurking around corners, which is why you want to use the mirror first. If you see one of the false in your mirror, take the blade lightly between your fingers and drag it across the reflection on the mirror with the point. 
this will prompt the figure to move away. However, odds are you have at least one encounter with a false face-to-face. -face. They have the capability of appearing at will if you are on a straight street or bridge with no turns. Should you see a false at any point, not as a mirror reflection, shut your eyes immediately and gently place the mirror shard at your feet, but keep hold of the blade. Remain still with your eyes shut and listen for footsteps and rattling breath. The false will be moving slowly toward you. It will stop at arm's length in front of you and reach. Your only chance for escape is to estimate when it is reaching for you, then reach out and jab the figure itself with your blade. Do not miss. You won't get a second chance. Miss and you fail the ritual. Consequences of failure are discussed later. If your aim is true, the false will hiss in pain and begin moving away. When the footsteps are no longer audible, you can open your eyes. Retrieve your mirror and continue your path. Should you successfully arrive at Cinderella Castle, you'll be safe. Find the brick you marked. Take your mirror and hold it to the brick. Trace a chalk outline around the shard and when you pull your hand away, the shard will remain on the surface. Step back and turn around three times clockwise. With each turn, say the words, mirror, 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 for a total of three times. Upon completing the third turn, you will face the wall only to see the surface of the area of the brick has become that of a mirror. Look into that mirror and you will see the faint outline of a clouded face. Here's where the goal of the ritual comes into play. Make sure you choose the question beforehand. The face will slowly say, Past. Present. Future. To choose, nod your head after the mirror says the one you want. If you nod for past, the mirror will show you the answer to a question regarding the past. You can range from a personal mystery for your own past to a historical mystery such as who killed JFK. For present, you can ask to be shown a solution to a problem currently plaguing you, or an issue the world currently faces. Future, needless to say, will show you a future outcome yet to pass. Ask the mirror your question and watch your long-awaited answer. Once you have your answer, step away from the mirror again. Turn around three times, now in a counterclockwise direction, and again with each turn say the words, Mirror, 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 mirror. Upon completing the third turn, the mirror will be gone, and so will the shard. The castle has taken it as a tribute. Leave the castle and head back to your hiding place. On your way, drop the blade into the moat surrounding the castle. Keep hold of the chalk. You need not worry about being caught by security or any false at this point. The park respects your accomplishment and will allow you temporary safe passage. However, do not take this gesture as excuse to linger or explore. This will be taken as arrogance or an insult and your protection will be revoked. Simply head to your initial hiding spot as quickly as you can. When you return to the hiding spot, place a circle of chalk around you. If in a location with a door, draw a half circle around the door on the floor. Remain hidden until morning, when the park opens and visitors have been let back in. Critical tip. Do not fall asleep. Do not respond to any voices or footsteps you might hear, no matter how close the sound gets to you. If you're hiding in a place with a door, do not react to knocks no matter how frantic they become. You will remain safe if you stay awake and quiet. Most important of all, do not follow along if you hear a Disney song being played. This includes singing, humming, or even following the song in your mind. Cover your ears with your hands and do not let the song get stuck in your head. The following day, once you know visitors have begun entering the park, leave your hiding spot immediately and head for the exit of the park. Do not stop for anything, just leave. Drop the chalk at the entrance and once you have left, never return to Disney World ever. The park knows you and your welcome has worn out. Now the part that has yet to be discussed. What happens if you fail the ritual? Should you be caught by the false 
during the item retrieval, linger too long outside of your hiding place after completing the night ritual, or answer to voices or knocks before morning. Should one of the false place their hands on you, you will lose the ability to move freely. If you return to the park after successfully completing the ritual, you will encounter a false that no one else will appear to see. See, in any case, they will slowly lead you to the entrance of the park. Now you can walk away then. But no matter where you go, or what you do during the night, the next day you'll find yourself at the entrance of the park once more. Only you'll once again have no control over your actions. As if in a hypnotic trance, you'll move towards your fate. Perhaps you'll find yourself on a ride with non-functioning seat restraints, only to be thrown out into the tracks. Walking on above ground monorail tracks with an incoming train behind you, on river boats that flip into waters not made for swimming, in the path of an oncoming parade float, whatever fate the happiest place on earth has for you, rest assured, it won't involve a happily ever after. Hey there, kids. It's me, Mr. Creepypasta. Just wanted to say thanks so much for listening. You guys are what makes this channel worthwhile. There'll be new horror stories every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, as well as gaming live streams every Friday and Sunday night. Please help support on patreon.com slash Mr. Creepypasta, and you can hear me as well as many other Creepypasta narrators live 24-7 at scrmradio.com. Sweet dreams.